Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video, I'll be painting the Altern Treeman for my Halfling Blood Bowl team. My tiny, tiny halflings really need some heavy support on the playing field. And what better support is a walking tree with a squirrel? Let me show you how I painted this model. Because of its hard to reach placement, I will paint the trophy hidden in the mouth first. I base coat with Retributor Armor. Then I shade the trophy with Reichland Flesh Shade. I layer on Gehenna Gold to bring back some of the shiny gold. I failed to film this part unfortunately, so I'm going straight through the last step, which is highlighting with Runefang Steel. <laughs> On to the biggest area, which is the tree itself. I first paint the model with Dryad Bark. I use a big dry brush for this. This really speeds up the process. To fill all the gaps, I wash the model with Agrax Earthshade. Time for some dry brushing. First, I brush back Dryad Bark to the model, making the raised areas a little bit lighter. Then I do the same with Steel Legion Drap. I pretty much do the entire model, but I do stay away from areas that are in shadow, like the underside of his arms or underneath the roots. Next, I dry brush with Bane Blade Brown. I keep getting more and more selective on where I dry brush. I focus on the face, the branches, and the upper side of his arms. I do a last dry brush of Karak Stone. Here I focus only on the face and the top of the branches. Back to the small brush. I highlight certain parts with Usapti Bone. I personally really like the look of feathering, but be sure to find your own style of highlighting. I'm a big fan of variety. To add some, I shade various parts of the tree with Serpim Sepia. This creates a different tone of brown. Here we have a good basis for realistic looking bark. Note that I paid attention on certain areas and not highlighted the entire tree. Let's continue with adding more different colors to the tree. On the back side of the tree are some vines. I paint these with Plague Bearer Flesh. I actually go over different areas, mossing up the tree. I use the Death Guard Green to highlight the areas where I painted the previous color. I add another highlight of Ogren Camo to brighten up the green areas. I felt some contrast being lost, so I shade the recesses of the green areas with the Thonian Camo Shade. The desaturated moss adds another realistic look to the tree bark, and some well needed variety. Next, I want to try something new with the vines that form his arms. I'm using two paints I've bought ages ago and never used. First, I base coat the vines with Iron Rack Skin. To add shading and a more green hue, I paint the vines with Ethonian Camo Shade. I bring back Iron Rack Skin and layer this on the raised areas. Next, 
I highlight the vines with Deepkin Flash. Iron Rack and Deepkin are two very situational paints that I actually bought for another project, but I didn't end up using them. Still, I like the way I painted these vines, giving a very desaturated green look. Let's paint some leaves. First, I base coat all the leaves with Wraithbone. Then I paint a selection of leaves with the contrast paint Gut Ripper Flesh. The remaining leaves are painted with Plague Bear Flesh. Just by using two different contrast paints, you can create a much more rich looking model and it takes no effort at all. In my opinion, much better than making all the leaves the exact same color. Well, I almost missed it, but there is a little sprite in the branches holding a football. I base coat the sprite with Lutheran Blue. Then I shade the sprite with contrast paint Achillean Green. I bring back Lotharan Blue on the raised areas. I add two highlights. First, I use Verizian Gray. And second, I highlight with Blue Horror. Now we come to the most important part of the model, which is the squirrel. First, I paint the entire squirrel with Scrag Brown. I block out some areas with Yusupti Bone, his snout, around the eyes and his paws, and belly. I shave the entire squirrel with Seraphim Sepia. I bring back Scrag Brown and I use very thin lines to try and create the illusion of fur. I do the same with Yusepti Bone on the white parts. With Jokero Orange I further highlight the fur. And with Screaming Skull, I finish highlighting the white areas. I add one final highlight of Jokero Orange mixed with Wraithbone to the main body of the fur. Try to keep your lines small and thin. With Black Templar, I paint the eyes and nose. With white scar, I dot the eyes, creating a reflection. The cap of the nut is painted with Mornfang Brown. The nut itself is painted with Zendri Dust. Finally, I shade the nut with Agrax Earth Shade. And here we have the Altern Treeman, another hilarious model for Blood Bowl. I hope this tutorial will also be helpful for any Sylvaneth players looking to see how to paint some trees. Stay tuned for next time as I'll be adding new reinforcements to my Maggotkin of Nurgle army. The Maggot Lords are coming. Well, at least one of them. In the meantime, be sure to check out my Instagram, where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.